watch The Girl Who Loved Color by Julia Denos. In a place where colors ran wild, there lived a girl who was wilder still. Her name was Swatch, and she was a color tamer. She was small, but she was not afraid. She could run with the wildest shades, train them to dance, and do magic. With a little patience, she learned to hunt the rare ones. Bravest green shot up first week of March. In between gray lived on her kitten's legs. Rumble tumble pink rolled through the sky on the hills of outgoing thunderstorms. When she called them by name, they would come to her because Swatch loved color and color loved Swatch back. Swatch had never thought of capturing a color until the day she lured Just Laid Blue straight from its nest and into a jam jar. Stay, Swatch said, and the color stayed. How beautiful it looked behind glass. You could use a friend, she said to Blue. So she caught one more, then another, and another. Soon Swatch's room was just full to bursting. The colors circled, restless in their jars. They were magnificent, but there was still one color left to catch. Morning came and there it was, fast, fading, and fierce. The king of all yellows, blooming in the sidewalk crack in spite of the shadows. Swatch was ready. At last, yellowest yellow would be hers. Suddenly, she heard a small sound. Ahem, said Yellow's Yellow. What are you doing? Swatch had never asked if a color wanted taming. Yellowest Yellow, she asked politely. Would you like to climb into this jar? You could sit on a shelf right next to Blue. You could make green together all day long if you wanted. I'll poke holes in the top and I'll feed you dinner. But Yellow, knowing that was no way to live, said, No, thank you. And Swatch, who could have scooped it up anyway, said, Okay. Given that small but kindly allowance, it grew and yawned and stretched and twirled. It bloomed and whirled and leaked and swirled, spreading, billowing, twisting, up, up, up. It sprouted ears and pointy teeth. It was as big as a house. Roar, went yellow as yellow. Swatch felt small. Her jar seemed silly. She had forgotten colors were wild. So she shut her eyes and prepared to be eaten. Then Swatch heard something sweet and warbling, like a fleet of canaries. She smelled something warm and buttery, like breakfast. Then something swished against her knee, purring and soft and just like home. So she opened her eyes. She reached out her hand and stretching from her tiptoes, she found she could indeed touch yellow. Hold on, Yellow said, and it pulled her up. Up, up, high up over the rooftop. She called her colors by name and they came to her. Together they made a masterpiece. The end.